In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the area of a sector. We're going to look at the formula for the area of a sector and then work out one example. All right, so I have a picture drawn here of a circle and I've colored in the sector. Let's say I have a given radius of r and I have a given theta. So the formula for the area of a sector is area equals one half r squared theta. And there is a condition that our theta must be in radians to use this formula. All right, so let's suppose that it tells us to find the area and they give us a radius of two feet and they give us our theta as 30 degrees. All right, so first off, you do not want to make that mistake of, oh, I'm just going to plug everything in and multiply it out and work it out that way. You've got to take a look at the fact that this is in degrees and our theta has to be in radians. So it's really going to be a two-step process here. I'm going to need to do step one. I'm going to need to convert theta to radians. So let's write convert theta to radians. Okay, now I am assuming that you do have a little background trick here and that this is a skill that you would know how to do. All right, so 30 degrees over one and I'm gonna um, multiply then by pi radians over 180 degrees because that's the um, conversion ratio that we use to convert degrees to radians. All right, my degrees cross out. All right, and I've got 30 pi radians over 180. And then I'm going to then, um, you should always reduce that probably. So I'm going to have pi 30 over 180. And then those zeros are going to cross out. And then I can still reduce the 3 over 18 so that I end up with just a pi over 6 radians. Okay, so not a lot of detail on that because I am assuming that you've got some background and trig and that you can do degrees to radians, radians to degrees. All right, now step two then. Now that I know what my theta is, then I can use my formula. All right, and my formula, let's actually show all of our steps here. Um, let's do a one-half equals, or a equals a one-half r squared theta. I'm trying to find a. My one-half is going to stay. My r is 2, so 2 squared. And we converted our theta of 30 degrees into pi over 6. All right, and then a little bit of math here. It's going to give me a 4 over a 12. So the area is going to be a 4 pi over 12. And you probably ought to go ahead and reduce that to lowest terms. So pi over 3. And then since this is area and that was in the radius is in feet, then this is going to be a feet squared. So for my area of the sector, pi over 3 feet squared. So um, just a nice, straightforward, simple example of that um, area of a sector formula and just making sure that if you are given a theta that's in degrees, you don't forget to convert that to radians before you start. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.